Welcome back everybody. If you have an outbuilding like this behind me without electrical, I'm gonna show you how you can bury your own from start to finish. Okay, so the first things you're gonna need here are a hammer, some metal spikes, spray paint, and some bale string I'm using. First thing I'm doing is marking the line at which I wanna dig. Uh, this is about an 80 foot electrical burial from the house to the barn. I'm using a framing square here in the corner to make sure that my angle is uh, 90 degrees. Um, that's just to make it easier for the pipe fittings that I have with the Schedule 40 that I'm burying this wire inside of. Then I go along the wire all the way down and mark my burial line with spray paint. Um, now I'm digging with an excavator. You wouldn't necessarily need to do this with an excavator, but where we live in Pennsylvania, there's a lot of rocks. Um, so if I were to dig this by hand, it seriously would have took me all week, if not longer. With the excavator, the Bobcat E35, it took me about 35 minutes to do this. Um, now the next step, this is really important, just making sure that there's no rocks where I'm burying everything. I go through a sh with a shovel, this is the wire I'm using. It's uh, South Wire 12-2. All of it is UF rated for direct burial. Now, if you're an electrician watching this, you might think I'm crazy because I'm putting UF wire inside of conduit, which is kind of overkill depending on who you ask. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because we have so many rocks here that I don't wanna have to be digging this up in 10 years and figure out where it got cut by a rock. I just want to bury it and have it be done with. So I'm putting it all inside of schedule 40. Um, now I'm cutting a hole in my wall, which in inherently makes you a little nervous as a homeowner to cut a hole in the side of your house. But um, that's what I had to do. Now I'm just feeding the wire and the conduit through the wall. Everything is framed together here. As you can see, I have my 90 going down. That's about two feet down, I buried this wire. Uh, depending on your local codes, you might wanna check that to figure out how deep you need to bury electrical conduit before you do that. Um, once you re-bury it as well, you probably wanna put in some sort of uh, uh, way to pick it up with a metal detector and caution tape as well. So anybody digging there knows there's electrical underneath it. One step here I forgot to mention is you're gonna to wanna to go through all of your conduit fittings and glue them using primer and pipe glue. Here, this is a really important step that I'm doing. I'm burying the whole wire in sod. Uh, doesn't need to be sod, it could be just dirt or anything that's gonna prevent that wire from getting cut by a rock. That is the main priority of this. Um, here you can see the wire going up into the barn. Now I'm using the blade on the Bobcat uh, to rebury that trench after I just uh, covered it with a couple inches of sod to protect it and now I'm filling it back in with the dirt that I took out in the beginning. This did not take very long with an excavator. That rental was about $250 for an eight hour rental, um, which was well worth it in my opinion. So I just wanna take a minute to show you how I tied this into the breaker box. As you can see up here, that one inch pipe coming in with two wires out of it, I put in staples. Those are both of my circuits coming in from the conduit. I then ran them down the wall here. So I get a better look at this. Two staples again, staple it up to the rafter. Coming down here, I have a cable connector and another one going into my breaker box. This is a Leviton 42 slot breaker box. And then pretty simple here, folks. All I did is put my ground into one of these ground nuts here. And then I put down here in the bottom, the black goes in the gold, that's hot. And then the um, neutral goes in the silver. And I did that for both of these, pretty simple. Now when I test if it's on, we have power. Just to play it safe, I also tested the wires up in the barn to make sure that I didn't crush them with the excavator when I buried them, but they are not crushed. They're both live and we're ready to wire the barn. 
So in part two of this video, I'm gonna show you how I wired up two simple circuits from these two wires. Electrical work can be easy if you're a DIYer or a professional homeowner. You just need to respect it and know the dangers of working with it. Hiring a licensed electrician for a project like this could be really expensive, but if you don't feel comfortable doing this, safety is always the best option. Thanks for watching with yet another project that can save you money and give you pride and ownership if you just do it yourself.